Well, let's get this party started in Ottawa. Match number 67 of 112 in this third Canadian Premier League season. Dylan Powley brings a record of 3-2-9 and nine of the CPL to the match today with two clean sheets, 39 saves, 24 goals conceded. And Stephen Hart, the 61-year-old head coach of the Wanderers, echoing the sentiments of Mista, bringing out one of his classic Hardisms, if you will, saying football's a strange game. And here we go, it's a lie, really. This is not a lie, as Ottawa's through on the counter, attack some space for McKendry, puts it in a basket, loose! Nunez couldn't get there in time as Halifax a little bit desperate on defense. Goal and an assist on the season thus far for Alberto Soto, looking for his second assist here. Eric Santos gets ahead to it first. Nunez back towards Soto. In behind Bent, working on Santos next, gets around him, leaves it for Shaw, sits down for Wright, who couldn't get a clean touch away, otherwise it was 1-0 for the hosts. Reggie Lamoth and now Rampersad, who has a pocket of space developing in front of him, out to the left, Joao Morelli. One-on-one -on -one with Verhoeven, heavy touch to the right, taken down and pointed to the spot. Tevin Shaw getting tangled up with a golden boot leader. Joao Morelli on Dylan Pally as the boos ring out, and Joao Morelli does score. One nil for Halifax. Picks his spot into the bottom right corner. Turned over, and Brian Wright's at full sprint. Splits the two last defenders in a heavy touch that he cannot believe he pushed forward is swallowed up by Kieran Basket. The Wanderers grounds when you couple the absolute torrential downpour that we saw on Monday. The field was really getting worked in by the end of it, especially this area where Ottawa's operating right now is close to a mud pit. Soto keeps that play alive, can't find target. In the center of midfield, Morelli. Ricci receives, splits the wickets, Bent can't get a toe to it in time. Space for Malcolm Shaw as he looks to tie, and Malcolm Shaw has leveled the match at a goal apiece. Not letting this match run away, not letting the golden boot leader run away. His seventh of the season, out comes the Red Smoke at TD Place. Verhoeven's turn to start a run. Gets in behind Gagnon Lapare, Verhoeven towards the top of the box, blocked on the way towards goal. McKendry Verhoeven and now Soto for Ben McKendry in behind Santos. Again across the face of goal and another goal line stop. This time it's Jake Ruby. Finding Ben who fell to his knees and popped back up to keep Halifax moving forward. Ruby. A much more exciting second half. After both sides just trying to wait each other out in half number one. Goal from Malcolm Shaw has Ottawa level. Halifax, their turn to ask some questions. Marshall, bent, back up top, and Lamoth falling. Ooh, look at this, Soto slipping in behind. Malcolm Shaw nearly makes it two. Signed the 75th minute now. Ben played through, he's gonna get a shot off this time, saved by Pauli. Diving across to his right. To Here's Malcolm Shaw, the goal scorer for Ottawa, takes it to his left. Stefan Karajevanovic with Sam Salter in the box. In comes Alex Marshall as well. It's found Morelli. Jake Ruby, first touch. His shot blocked by Miguel Acosta. He's going to get the pass from Rampersad. Takes it first time on the bounce. Morelli denied by Pauli again. Ottawa South United before making the move over to the McEwen Griffins in Alberta. Ooh, good ball. Daniel Lapare finds Salter. Top of the box, and a goal! A late goal! A 
And who else would it be but Joao Morelli? Well, so many times Halifax has felt hard done by with a draw. Six of them on the year, and it's just great passing. He has seen far too many times matches slip away at the end. That will not be the case today. Joao Morelli continues to set the CPL alight.